Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 9th of 2022, well, it is titled Leaving Earth. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video recorded by the Messenger spacecraft as it passed Earth in 2005 on its way to Mercury. Now, what do we mean that it's passed Earth? Well, yes, it was launched from Earth, but it also traveled out into space and passed several other planets, including Earth and our moon and Venus and Mercury in its journey to use their gravity as an assist to get it into a proper orbit for Mercury. So it flew by Earth more than just the time when it left. And here at one point, looking back on Earth, we get to see what it's like to leave planet Earth and head off into the distance. And we can play the video and we see the Earth there rotating and moving off into the distance. Now, of course, it's not the Earth that's moving. It is the spacecraft that is moving further away and therefore making Earth look smaller and smaller in the sky as it travels. And we can see, of course, on Earth that we see a lot of cloud cover there scattered around Earth. And through it, we can see some of the land and oceans uh, of our Earth. Now we also note that the Earth is not fully illuminated. And that is because any object that does not produce its own light will go through phases. So just as our moon goes through phases as we observe from Earth, so do other moons around their planets. And so do other planets as seen from their moons. So if you were on our moon looking up towards Earth, you would watch Earth go through the same set of phases that our moon does. And it's just a matter of the positioning and it's because any object is half illuminated by the sun and any object half of it is pointing towards you at any given time. So depending on what fraction of the illuminated portion is pointing towards you gives us the phase. Now this is again the messenger spacecraft. So this went out to visit Mercury and is actually still there. It's not exploring. At the end of its, mer of, of, of its mission, it crashed into Mercury. So while it's there, it'll stay on Mercury forever. It actually crashed into the surface as it used up its maneuvering fuel that was needed to keep it in orbit, especially a very orbit very close to the sun around something like Mercury. Now we do have other spacecraft on the way to study Mercury and that would be the Bepi Colombo spacecraft it is actually passed by passing by Mercury and is still going to make several uh, pass bys of Mercury and study the innermost planet before it finally goes into orbit there a few years from now. So we continue to study Mercury as of the among the inner solar system is the least well studied of the four planets in the early in the inner solar system. Venus and Mars have had many spacecraft and of course we have plenty of satellites around studying our own Earth. But Mercury being in a very close orbit to our sun is one of the more difficult ones to study simply because of its positioning in the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for August 9th of 2022. It was titled Leaving Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be stars of dust. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.